Hey guys, I'm Jessica with Diesel Smoke and Glitter. Um, today I was going to show you how to do a, a beach tumbler. I'm actually going to do three at one time. I, just to save waste because I made such a big batch. If you have the gallon size um, Alumilite clear cast, then it's two pumps of each side. If you have the smaller ones, I think it's about 80 mLs if you want to do it. Um, for these three is what it'll take. Um, first thing I do is set up six Dixie cups with small stirrers in them um, to get everything ready. And you can do these with acrylic paints and colors similar to this, but I'm a big fan of the Illumilite dyes. That's what I'll mostly be using today with just one or two acrylic paints and I'll show those in just a second. I usually have the Hogs brand of cups, but um, these come from Sam's Club for this order. Right. Normally you worry about mixing bubbles, mixing it too hard, but for this it doesn't matter because you're going to turn around and mix it in with other colors. Alright, the first color I'm going to be using would be the Limelight Brown. The next one is the Limelight Blue. Alumilite White. I have this Apple Barrel Tuscan Teal. Let me see that a little bit. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm going to use... This is um, Jim Holtz Alcohol Ink. I really like it also. It's called Mermaid. And then Alumilite Ocean Blue, which is one of my favorites. Alright, let's get started, guys. And I usually um, put black tape around my footballs um, for smaller cups like this to keep the uh, epoxy from drying to it because it'll pull off of the black tape, but it won't. When it pulls off the footballs, it pulls out chunks. First thing I do is pour it out into smaller cups. I spray painted my cups white. I just used Rust-Oleum or whatever I have handy. Um, just so the stainless doesn't show through. It doesn't take as much of everything if you put a base coat down. Same goes for glitter. And again, all I'm doing, guys, is pouring the epoxy into small Dixie cups. I always leave just a little bit in my big container just in case I need a little more of one color. Let's start with the sand on these. Oh, let me plug my turners up. Some of these have blue where I've just touched them. Right. We're ready for the sand. For the sand, um, with the Lumilite dyes, you always want to put like a base down, so I always put a drop of white 
These are hard to squeeze. I need a drop or two away. Depends on what color I want my sand. And then a drop of the brown. And it only takes a little bit. You can adjust the colors by adding more white or more brown. Um, I'm going to add more white to mine. Ends up being like a just a sandy color. You can add add a little more to either one um, to get them where you want them. This cup is kind of a slow process. Um, getting your colors where you want them. So, make sure you mix it up good since you're adding dyes. And if you get a drop somewhere you don't want at this stage, it's pretty easy just to wipe it off.
right, now that a squirrel's done, um, we are going to make some more stuff into it, so. And I always keep a bunch of gloves to the side when I do these cups, because I end up changing gloves a lot, so I don't mix colors in together. The next color I'm going to do is the sky. And usually just a little bit of the uh, epoxy blue and a drop of white makes a really pretty sky. With this you have to be careful not to get too much blue. Here, I have a sky blue. Put another glove on. I'll be dyed blue for a week if I don't. Now just start, try not to get it in your sand. Since I'm doing so many at one time, I'll get most of the top done and go to another cup and then work my way down. One of my cup, one of my black tapes is attached to my cup. Never fails, you're going to run into problems when you're doing multiple cups at a time.
right now you can start taking it down just pulling it down it's a more. to the sand As long as you get it semi near to it, it should be fine. Um, Cause you're gonna be adding the ocean in between them. If you, when you're turning, you'll notice sometimes you start to lose your sand, like it starts to just run to the bottom. Lift your turners up. Um, I don't know, maybe eighth of an inch or so, maybe a little more, and it should make the the epoxy start going back down the cup. to the side. If you're less messy, you don't have to change gloves as much as I do. Um, but I have to change them in between each color. Next we're going to do the base of the ocean which is going to be the Tuscan Teal. And it's just a few drops of each, each one of these ingredients. Should be plenty. Especially the acrylic paints, if you put more than a few drops, it doesn't mix well with the epoxy. Alright, here starts the drizzle method. method. Just run it between the two.
Try to make sure all your cup is covered. There's no bear cup showing. It won't swirl good if there is. All right, the next color I'm going to be using is the Alcohol Ink Mermaid. I want to lighten this up a little bit. Just a few drops of it also. I may not use the, let's see, I may not use the ocean blue in this one. I want it to look more creepy, creepy I can't say that word, guys. And this is clear, kind of clear, but it should lighten it up a little bit. As it starts to mix with it. I think I'm going to go back and add just a little more water to the top. You want the water to run a little bit um, so it creates a wave look. And see the waves are trying to take over the sand a little bit, which is fine for now. All right.
we are ready for the white. If there's interest, I also do one that's more of a dark blue sea um, beach. If anybody's interested in seeing that, I just put it in the comments and I'll try to do that next week if there's interest for it. And I try to stay, I make the clouds run a little bit. Now for the waves, which is used with the white too. Try to put it at the edge of the sand where the waves break. I actually think I will mix it in a little bit of this ocean blue. Just drizzle it in. Just add some color. Alright, since I dropped it in the sand, I'm just going to touch it and wipe it off since it's still wet. And then take a little bit of sand and put it back in it. And see I'm losing my sand. What I'm going to do is I have a ring from one of my Court jars. I'm gonna pop these up on. For some reason I thought I had two. Here. 
and it should propping them up should help um, it helps the sand move back down you can also let me grab it I'll show you another way to do this Another way is to take a heat gun. This is a like a $12 one off Amazon. And just push it back up. It will also help it mix. Make the ocean look more like an ocean. This one's going to turn out good. This one is going to have a little too much of the ocean on it, so it's running into the sand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the excess off, just with a glove, and try to fix the sand. The last step I'm going to do guys is I'm going to add some uh, some glitter to the sand to make it sparkle a little bit. Um, this is one of our own. This is Diesel Smoking Glitter. Um, I'll put the link in the bottom and it's called Shimmering Sands. I'm going to take one I already have open and just take a little bit of it. If I had it in a shaker I would just shake it onto it. but. And just sprinkle a little bit into the sand. Just a little bit. Just enough to make it sparkle. Alright guys. Um, I'll post a picture in the comments tomorrow after they've dried. Thank you for watching. And make sure to check out our websites. DieselSmokingGlitter.com We open... We open um, July 15th for sales. Um, we also have a Facebook group called Diesel Smoking Glitter if you want to check into that for updates. Thank you.